Much like genders, there are two new heroes that Ubisoft was kind enough to let us try in the Breach technical test. Those heroes include the Shaolin and Tiandi, aka Monkey Monk and the Ballerina. This is only half the heroes launching with Marching Fire come October, and because this was such an early build of the content, I'll be saving my full guides for then. For now, I'll just go over some basics and what I like and dislike about these two Wulin warriors, starting with the Monk. Yo, peep the style and the kids checking for it. The number one question is how could you being an assassin, not a vanguard as I said in my For Honor comeback video, fucked that one right up didn't I? The Shaolin's biggest strength is his speed. Boasting negative 20 millisecond light attacks that can be tripled up for extra damage as well as absolutely incredible animations for heavy attacks and feints, seriously watching this guy whip his staff around like he's been raised and trained to do it since infancy is an absolute spectacle and feels badass every time I do it, and that alone is enough to make him my favorite hero. Like Highlander, the monk can hold either attack button to enter a unique stance, from which he has a variety of different attacks including an unblockable, stun, dodge, and kick. You can either hold the stance and react to your opponent's next move, or almost immediately pop out with whatever attack you feel is best for the situation, but it's definitely more fun to hold it so you can press F to taunt your enemy and watch the salt build up in their veins. Come at me, motherfu- <laughs> His dodge attack can also be performed from neutral, and is most useful in countering Tiandi's god-awful ballerina twist, which I'll get to shortly. Being an assassin, you also have the option to deflect into a free heavy, after which you can jump straight into a light attack and continue an infinite combo. Much like Berserker, the infinite combo is light heavy light heavy. The heavy can be fainted during the chain, but the light still has the full startup so it's not quite as fluid as the Axeman. You can also hold your attack right after a deflect to jump right into key stance and continue salt baiting your poor opponent. And lastly for the Shaolin, his zone attack, which is quick, but not too quick to parry, and either of the three big swings can be fainted. It's not very practical in 1v1 encounters, but in ganks can make for some pretty great crowd control. In conclusion, monkey quick, monkey clever, but monkey balanced as far as I'm concerned. At least on PC where you can actually react to light attacks. Oh shit, I spoke too soon, he has a feat that teleports him behind people. <laughs> This dude might be straight up broken. The ballerina shit, as I mentioned earlier, is pretty much the sole reason for me saying this. This boy can dance from side to side, completely invulnerable to all attacks besides from other Tiandis or the Shaolin's dodge attack as far as I've seen. You can cancel the twisty dance into his dodge light, which is lightning fast and can be done in any direction or from neutral, or you can dance in the opposite direction and keep it going, or better yet, just cancel it all together and please don't ever do it again. This is less of a pain in the ass in 1v1s though, because you can just wait and react to whatever the Tiandi chooses to do, but when it comes to being ganked, if they have a ballerina, you might as well alt F4. On top of this, the Tiandi also has a bash attack that allows for a free light, which can be done from neutral or after a light attack, as well as a monstrous crowd control kick after a heavy attack, which can be cancelled into a dodge light or ballerina spin, because why the fuck not? He can also dodge attack out of an attack recovery, which not even Shaolin can do, and he's a motherfucking assassin. Oh, and did I mention his zone is faster than Keemstar running down the street? This man is the spawn of Satan himself, and while I'm sure he gets easier to fight the more you play against him, I still feel that he has a little too much going for him. That being said, I don't speak for the entire community, and ultimately it's up to Ubisoft if they want to make changes or see how he fares at Marching Fire's launch. And hey, I could be wrong and maybe he isn't so bad, but also, no I'm not. 